Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. I release daily content and if you like the content, uh, why not consider subscribing to the channel or even joining as a member. Joining gives you a load of benefits such as extra videos, loyalty badges, custom emojis and the ability to chat in all the live streams and have all the live stream videos available to after they've aired. The best way to support the channel though is through the Element Games affiliate link that is in the description box below. That will lead you to this website where you can save up to 25% off of your Warhammer. And I want to say a huge thank you to all of you that currently do that. I also had a few questions last week. Super, do you have a Patreon? Yes, I do have a Patreon. It's right here. You can um, support the channel through that means. Why not follow me on Instagram where I upload uh, pictures of some of the completed models. And also come and join me on the uh, Discord server where you can put your uh, uh, completed miniatures and uh, join in with the chat. And I typically hop in there after every stream. Okay, without further ado, let's jump on over to the community website where we'll have a look at all of the uh, news that's happened over the past week. So if we go back in time to uh, the 19th of September, which was uh, about here. On the Saturday, uh, they advertised uh, the Fury of Magnus. Um, they, well, they advertised it, but it was sold out within a few minutes. Um, no doubt this book will be coming out um, a little bit later on uh, in hardback. I really like the colour art working in the front though that's awesome uh and look at that it's incredible isn't it the way they've done that um and there was also some other uh hardback books uh, available for print on demand uh then the main pre-order last week was uh the arena of death some qu and the quest uh of the ring bearer as well that looks really cool i like that uh, little diorama thing <laughs> you also got uh some minds of moria terrain set which looked uh pretty awesome and yeah, this was the Beast Grave Arena Mortis. And last orders for um, Sergeant Ripper Jackson. You could uh, order her from the web store. And it was the same for the two uh, uh, Bandai Primaris uh, action figures. The next day, we had a look at the, uh, the Sunday preview. Um, all kinds of terrain and things. If you click that video, you'll see that uh, you've got a mission pack uh, Beyond the Veil uh, Crusade. And you've also got chapter approved tactical deployment. Um, and then you've got some cards, yes, uh, Games Workshop, and now creating cards, terrain data sheet cards, yeah, for terrain. And this is the, the big terrain box set. It's got a huge amount of uh, terrain in there, double what you got in the, uh, the Command Edition that I unboxed, and uh, double the amount of um, uh, boards. And you get this unique uh, scenery piece thing. Moving down, uh, you've got the uh, Subcloister and Storage Fane available separately and also this Sanctum Administratus. I will be pre-ordering that today, so if you want to check it out next weekend, um, come and join the channel then. Uh, and then you've also got a couple of new box sets in terms of the Monitorum Armoured Containers and Conservators or Conservators. I want to call them Conservators, but they're basically the uh, little tractor crane servo hauler things um, and one container in that box set well i'll be having a look at them in a moment but the biggest news really the biggest biggest and deepest news uh was um that uh, forge world have now um put up pre-order they did this yesterday we're going to have a look at those in a moment um the mori quake cannon it's a little bit different than um the nemesis quake cannon it's not as good uh, but more on that later and uh, they also released I'd like to say that they released the Nemesis Volcano Cannon, but they didn't. They just released the Nemesis Warbringer Titan with the Nemesis Volcano Cannon, which is a huge disappointment because if you want that gun, you're going to have to pay the £819 paywall. It's the biggest paywall Games Workshop uh, have ever created, in my opinion. Uh, I think it's a complete farce. <laughs> and I'll complain about this a little bit later, um, that they didn't release this weapon separately. When the Nemesis Warbringer first came out, uh, the Quake Cannon was sold separately. I bought it separately, and that's what I was expecting with this, but no. If that has perturbed you in any way, the best thing I recommend is just sending them a fu <laughs> furious email, um, a strongly worded email, um, just to declare your frustrations and uh, who knows, hopefully, 
if they get bogged down by those, then they'll release the weapon to be sold uh, separately. Other good news though, they did release a, a better head. I do prefer this head to the original one. That's the original one right there. Although this one has the kind of nose piece armor piece at the same height, uh, it does have different flatter uh, sides and isn't as kind of curved around there and it has this extra bit and this isn't painted this is actually uh, chipped away and then it's got the the sort of holes there as well so uh, better head in my opinion but you can mix and match the shields I guess and then there was a, a look at a, a new book Flesh and Steel by Guy Haley audio book and then Demon Slayer um, by William King there was an article on Spanners up for a challenge war cry Tyler Mengel's Highlight Free Soros Guard, What's a Battle Zone? So this article just went through like tactical deployment and um, went through the cards. So it's a bit of an advert for the for the cards. Uh, did show um, some of the new models um, and the, the big box set. So it's a big advert really for that. Uh, rumor Engine for September, not really sure what that is. Uh, it looks like some kind of demon type claw leg thing. Uh, coming next month, action figures from McFarlane Toys, so more action figures, so all the companies are getting on board the uh, action figure bandwagon, they're 7 inches tall, and you can uh, spray it if you wish, and then they're also releasing a Necron uh, model too. You can check out the easiest way to get a great looking setup for your 40k games, and yep, they advertise the big scenery box again which I found pretty nice. And then this new uh, building as well. And then you can get these uh, these pieces of scenery uh, in their own set. And then they, yeah, they advertise these Munitorum containers, but let's be honest guys, these have been around for almost four years now. And uh, then the server hauler. Moving up, there was a reader's choice. The results, Fear the Reapers, Necron Destroyer Cult. You can learn about uh, the Destroyer Cult. So uh, they looked at some of the new models um they look awesome obviously these are the destroyer subcults and then you uh, have a look at this amazing lock hust uh, heavy destroyer looks fantastic and then he's got this weapon look at that gauze destructor strength 10 <laughs> 36 inch range then uh prepare to deploy tactically um new way to play warhammer 40k where terrain comes into the fore uh, regimental standard wise server tools are better the new uh, Crusading Beyond the Veil, History of the World Titan. This is a little bit, little look at the uh, the giants that are coming out. Games Workshop has said quite a few times that they're the largest models that they've uh, ever produced in plastic. So I'm guessing they're going to be bigger than Archeon. Um, certainly look interesting. All of you guys really want me to get the giants. Yeah, <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. Um, designing and painting the Silent King. This is a nice uh, close look at Sonic King. Uh, looks amazing, of course. Yeah, I really like that cloak as well. Yeah, fantastic. You got these little scenery pieces as well. There's a legendary battalions update and then the Titanic uh, pre-orders from Forge World. I think I've already um, sort of mentioned this about the volcano cannon there, but there's a closer look at some of the detail on it. It does look amazing. I'm not that convinced by these big cabling parts that come out of it and then just plug into the batteries but yeah they had to do it some way didn't they uh, then they advertised the reaver uh, weapons which they did refresh two years ago again if you've got a reaver titan and uh, you're looking to get some new weapons or just uh, better quality better refreshes of uh, for the current ones i can only recommend these you know the volcano cannon i picked up two of those for the nemesis and um that was an excellent kit no doubt the laser blaster the gatling blaster and the uh, melter cannon are uh, of the same quality and then you've got the new head and the shields and then the uh, mori quake cannon as well for the warlord crusade forces look for business uh, Tim's Crusade and Battle Zones and Tactical Deployment Game On. So that's it for all of the news um, from Games Workshop. Quite a lot to contend with. It's going to be ramping up. They are definitely going to be um, 
putting more and more news over these next uh, couple of months up to Christmas with the with the release of all the new Primaris and the uh, Necron models. I think they'll be doing features and uh, rule features of the uh, the new models as well as more articles uh, about the giants hopefully. With all that being said let's go over to Forge World and have a little look at these uh, pre-orders. So straight away on the first page, well this would have been the first page, you've got the Nemesis Warbringer Titan. This came out a good couple of years ago. If you want to come back to the channel tomorrow uh, you'll find um, the next part of my build guide for this model. The weapon loadouts they've equipped this one with is just uh, different heads so they've advertised a new head but they've advertised a new head with the old weapon. <laughs> it just would have made sense to advertise the new head with the new weapon, but there we go. Uh, if you click on there, that'll take you to the pre-orders, which is convenient. Um, so this is the Mars Delta pattern Warbringer head. So 63 pounds, usually heads for Titans are about that much. It is a lot of money, but you do get a fair number of parts and they are finely detailed. Um, I thought that the uh, new Princeps looked a bit angry. <laughs> I think it is a different Princeps than uh, uh, the one that we had before in the other head. I will, obviously will do the comparisons um, when this head arrives. Uh, but yeah, they give you these uh, like holes pre-drilled to put the magnets in. and. Um, you know, so you've got the cabling to go to the neck, you've got the shields, you've got the head, you've got the princeps and the moderati, and you've got all the details and the buttons and things like that in there. So yeah, if you're after a, a new, better looking, in my opinion, head, then uh, yeah, this is the one to, to go for, for the uh, Nemesis um, Warbringer. Then we'll look at the uh, Nemesis Volcano Cannon. Now they do have rules for this, but only for Horus Heresy. So they're right here. And if we go down, there's the Nemesis Volcano Cannon. As you can see, it's 80 inches longer range than a normal Bellicosa Volcano Cannon. We don't know, like, in terms of the strength, what it'll be for 40k, uh, or the AP. The current Bellicosa Volcano Cannon for the Warlord, I think, is an AP minus 6, which is ridiculous anyway. And I would hazard a guess that this will be a slightly better strength, um, but it will re retain that, that range. And it might even have uh, an extra rule, who knows. But um, because the uh, Quake Cannon does have a have an extra rule. But who knows. One thing I do know is that it will be a better um, weapon than the Bellicosa Volcano Cannon. Because it's carapace mounted. Um, and that's the same for the Quake Cannon. Um, which we'll talk about. But as I said at the start of the video. I do think it's an absolute travesty. Uh, that um, to get that this carapace weapon you have to buy the full... Nemesis Titan, which really does suck because um, don't think of it as paying £819 for the weapon and the Titan. Think of it as that you'll then have to pay an extra £60 for another head and an extra, what, £70 per weapon as well. Um, so, yeah, you can look at it at £800 for that weapon, but you can also look at it at, again, slightly over £1,000 for the weapon. But if that annoys you, just send them an email and say, look, can we have this weapon separately? I've got Nemesis Titan already, just want the weapon. Thank you. <laughs> um, this is the Mori Quake Cannon, £92. All the Warlord uh, Titan weapons are £92. It looks quite decent. It looks a bit stubby. I'm going to compare it to the Nemesis Quake Cannon, obviously. I like the fact that they've kept this um, targeting flare type thing. I've totally, I've totally forgotten um, what the... Uh, I think it's like a ballistic cogitator or something um this long uh rail that guides the shell i guess or helps with the the range which helps with the range finding um but yeah it's a bit stubby uh obviously not as long as the uh volcano cannon there but it's definitely got the girth um the one thing i'm not a huge fan of is this big ammo box it just looks like someone's put like a munitorum container on the back of it and that's it and, and that's because we're really spoilt with the, the loading mechanism, the kind of like magnum gun of the Nemesis Quake Cannon. Uh, so they had to do something, but yeah, given how big these shells are, I'd like to query just how many shells that uh, ammo box can take. But it is what it is, and uh, I don't think it necessarily goes well with the Volcano Cannon in terms of looks. I think it would have been better to showcase it with the Warlord Gatling Blaster instead. But there you go, you can pick that one up for £92. And that's it for Forge World. Maybe we'll get the word bearers 
Prey Tours uh, next week. Maybe we'll get Saul Tarvitz. Who knows? Um, maybe we'll even get the Volcano Cannon sold separately. <laughs> okay, and if we uh, take a little trip to Games Workshop's web store, you're met with uh, this Crusade Mission Pack Beyond the Veil and some terrain data sheet cards. If we go to the next page, uh, you get this uh, another look at um, nice artwork for Mission Pack for Tactical Deployment in this ring binder type thing with a, I think it's elastic, I think it's like a black elastic band type page keeper um, and that's about it there so if we click on new and exclusive and on pre-orders and we go high to low you're met with uh, this battle zone manufactorum vertigus this is up for pre-order today and uh, pretty much consists of two command um, uh, additions of the scenery which is uh, two of the uh, broken buildings, two of the pipe works with their um, furnace type thing, and then this new little scenery piece called an auto coral uh, transmitter. I think that's what this is. Uh, it looked great near some sisters of battle, I guess. And you get two double-sided gaming boards, of which I'm quite a big fan of these gaming boards. Uh, there's a fair bit of detail on them and uh, they go really well. Well, this gray kind of scenery board goes well with the new um, uh, scenery pieces, but that's 90 pounds for a kind of, as I start collecting scenery kit. Uh, but yeah, if you get that, you're pretty much sorted for ninth edition scenery. You may want to get some other bits and pieces, but uh, that is an excellent way to go. I wonder if they will ever do like Indomitus or some kind of ninth edition box set uh, with a load of scenery in like this. Um, like a lot of scenery, not the uh, the ones that we had before. The Underworld Starter Collection, that was up for pre-order last weekend. But then this is a new building piece, the Battle Zone Manufactorum Sanctum Administratus. £50 here for a building. It's quite tall. It's got two levels. You've got first floor and uh, the top floor uh, with some of the shutters or windows open. Um, you can fit, yeah, your three eradicators on there or uh, your devastators with two wounds each. I mean, you know, um, possibilities are, are there to... Uh, have that as a nice focal point of your battlefield um but yeah 50 pounds i don't know we'll see we'll see if it's if it's worth the asking price um i would have preferred 40 but there we go and then you can get the uh, sub cloister and uh, storage fane for 35 pounds now uh, and also you can get some woods i think these woods have been around before but uh for some reason they're they're available again. They look quite decent. Um, it says Warhammer Age of Sigma. Maybe they've just repackaged them for Age of Sigma, but they would go quite well with your Lumineth Realm Lords. Um, but yeah, they're two pound fifty. We're talking about what ten pound a tree. But they they do have a fair bit of detail and some mushrooms and things on them. Then you've got the Battle Zone Manufactorum Munitorum Armored Containers. Thirty two pound fifty for the three with a load of uh, extra ammo crates and fuel drums i think these were out three or four years ago i can remember getting them nothing new there then you've got these two uh books the uh crusade mission pack beyond the veil and the chapter approved mission pack uh tactical deployment so 25 pounds each for 24 brand new missions for the crusade campaign game so if you're into crusade there's been a big push of it pay 25 pound and you get uh some missions for them and um, it says six new missions for each combat control combat patrol incursion strike force and onslaught a selection of new battle traits and crusade relics and a swathe of gaming material including a new theater of war glossary um, but i like the layout with the uh, the ring binder i think that's cool and this book includes 112 pages i do like the the look of it with the ring binder and a uh, similar sort of story for chapter approved mission pack tactical deployment. You've got 18 new missions. The chapter approved mission pack tactical deployment includes a little bit less, it's got 104 pages, but uh, includes 18 new missions divided by com combat patrol, incursion, strike force, and onslaught. You've got a tactical terrain roster and recommended tactical deployment tournament scoring sheet as well. Again, I like the look and feel of these with the ring binders. Um, but there we go. Wonder if they'll do any more of these uh, in the future. Then you've got the Battle Zone Manufactorum Conservators, twenty-five pounds here. 
doesn't look like you get the really tall uh, kind of crane thing. It's just one of the sprues because they put the uh, container on the actual wheels of the, of the big uh, servo crane. So, I mean, it looks cool on there and it can, you know, these, uh, these servo haulers can just uh, move the containers around. Um, but yeah, £25. Moving down, you've got the Imperial Infantryman's Handbook and Paperback. That was sold out pretty quickly, but I think you could probably get it in other places. Then you've got the Terrain Data Sheet Cards, £15 here uh, for 22 of them. So yes, not quite £1 per card, but um, definitely more than 50p. Then you've got the Mines of Moria, which, were at, which was up for pre-order last weekend. You got Uprising again last weekend and Armageddon last weekend, but Flesh and Steel is this new paperback book, eight ninety nine, by uh, Guy Haley. And although it doesn't mention how many pages it is here, which is quite odd, being the power of the internet, I can confirm it's three hundred and twenty pages. And that is it for all the pre-orders uh, this weekend. So it's mainly a Titan weapon and scenery fest. I'm confident that next weekend we'll have pre-orders starting for uh, the new Necrons and possibly the new Primaris, maybe even the Codexes. It may be worth just holding on to your pennies this weekend. I know there's a few tempting things, uh, but get ready to see what uh, tomorrow evening will bring in terms of the Warhammer community uh, website and uh, what they announce uh, will, will be up for pre-order uh, on Saturday the 3rd of October. Next week, I need to remind you all that uh, from the 1st, there'll be a little preview for... Um, a project that I've been working on called Orktober. Uh, I know this is going to be in the mix of all the new Primaris and Necron models, but last year I didn't really do Orktober, and this year I feel a bit more qualified to do it. So um, you're going to be getting a load of Ork content. It may be an Ork video day, it may be an Ork video every other day, and there may be some new models that, I ha that I've added to my collection over the past um, couple of years. But I hope you enjoy the Ork content at least. Um, knowing my luck, probably January, February, Games Workshop will decide to release a new Ork codex and some new models, and then we'll, we'll go through it all again. But don't forget to also join me in the uh, live stream later today in the evening where I will be building the Astraeus this time actually building it because I've prepared the parts now and um, so I hope you join me for that live stream if you're interested in the Primaris super heavy tank uh, or for Forge World kits in general um, and then I'll be popping into the uh, discord chat um, straight after the stream. What do you guys think of all of these pre-orders and the Titan weapons and the scenery? Which is your favourite pre-order? And what have you pre-ordered this weekend? Or are you saving up all of your pennies for either the new Necron models or the Primaris? But either way, you'll see all of them on this channel once they're released. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.